Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev and today we're talking about trade rumors. There are so many trade rumors flying around. Now some of you are being like, why would the Canucks be talking trade rumors right now? Because we are on fire. We're one of the best teams in the league. Why would we wreck this chemistry? It's chemistry, And that is a very good point, right? But we today, I want to talk about um, some of these rumors. Now, you know, there's so many flying around. Biddington to Edmonton because Edmonton's looking for a goalie. Every UFA that's, uh, which is a lot of them from Calgary's involved in rumors. Of course, um, we, we've we got Beauvillier and Garland and, and there's so many. So I don't talk about all of them here, but this one seems to have a little bit more traction than the other ones that I've been kind of following. And um, I, I am so interested in Zadorov. This Zadorov trade rumor is absolutely riveting to me, and I want to talk about it today. I've got a lot to talk about, but before I do that, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do. Also, leave a comment of who you think the Canucks should trade for, and and, and what would we have to give up, whether it's Zadorov or some of these other players that we're going to be talking about today. So, thanks so much for supporting the channel. I love making passionate, realistic, and honest Canucks content. Okay. So Sidorov wants out. The question is, the big question is why? Why does Sidorov want out? Well, I think it's a couple things. One is the play of the Calgary Flames has been really bad. Like another bad start to the season. Last year was horrific. After the season before, there was a lot of promise, a lot of hope, and they have just been terrible. They have not turned it around, right? And so that's definitely one of the things uh, that that I believe he wants out. Plus, they have not figured out a contract extension for him, and that is a major deal as well. So, those two things I think are the big things that are playing here. And us Calgary wanting to keep him. What are they offering him? Who knows what they're offering him? But Kevin Weeks reported on TSN that there's four teams interested in Zadorov, and he has confirmed that Toronto is one of those teams. Rick Dollywall off of uh, Donnie and Dollywall uh, reported that the Canucks are one of the teams that are interested that Zadera, uh, um, Zadorov has been on the radar for a while in Vancouver. And that is very interesting to me. And then who are the other two teams? Now, I don't know them all. My sources haven't told me all those things. <laughs> my sources. Okay, so um, my research on the internet... <laughs> Uh, Darren Drager from TSN has reported that uh, the New Jersey Devils are interested in Zadorov as well. And so I don't know who the fourth team is. But they also said, uh, Kevin Weeks also said that the Leafs might be more interested in Tanev, who is a UFA and from the Toronto area, than uh, Zadorov. So that's interesting. Now, I know a lot of Canuck fans really want Tanev to come back. Here's the problem with Tanev, okay? He's... 33 years old, making $4.5 million. That's a lot of, but he is that right-handed shot defense on, and we know he can play well with Quinn Hughes. So I understand why Canucks want him back. I just think he's getting to the older age of, uh, you know, of, of the hockey career. And he, when he was with us, he had was injured a lot. I'm nervous about Tanov, even though I think immediate, um, Help and context absolutely would be great this season to have a guy like Tana, but I don't think we're going for older. We're going for a bit younger. And um, yeah, so the the Leafs sound like they could be more interested in Tana. Now, uh, Hannafin is also uh, a left-handed shot defense in 26, making 4.9, almost $5 million, Let's just say $5 million. He's definitely been in a lot of rumors as well. So there's three guys there that are absolutely being talked about. And as well, Lynn Holm from Calgary as well as a UFA. And uh, that's it's going to be interesting how it plays out in Calgary. And it's shocking how awful they've been this season. So the question is, is where would Zadorov want to play? The problem is it doesn't matter because he doesn't have a no movement clause on his contract. Uh, they can ship him wherever they want. But before we talk about that, I just want to talk about why would any team want Zadorov? Well, look at this, okay? Zadorov is six foot six. He's a beast, 200 and basically 50 pounds. 
Left-handed shot defense and 28 years old, UFA, as I said, but he's making $3.75 million for this season. Uh, the cap hit would be $3.125 million. So that is something that we need to like consider here. This is why they want him. Now, the challenge is this. Okay, let's go, let's go into why would Vancouver be open to him? Well, why would he be open to going to Vancouver, actually? And it's because of the other Russians on the Canucks team. Mikheyev, Kuzmenko, and his agent is Dan Milstein. That's their agent as well. There's a lot of connections going on right now. In fact, if I he doesn't get traded to us and then we get him in the in the offseason, like we could get him in a signing in the offseason, which I think would be awesome. It wouldn't cost us anything, but Let's talk about the uh, um, the analytics, okay, of, of him. So he's a left-handed shot defenseman, and a lot of you people are sitting there going, why would we trade for a left-handed shot defenseman? Because Cole and Susie can play the right. We've known that from when they got traded. Now they haven't been. So that's, a I think, talk it likes putting those guys in those spots where they're naturally the, the natural right hand or left-handed. Um so here's here's some of the, the stats. Not only he's a third pairing defenseman, and this is where it's it's crazy, is on these stats, do we want a third pairing defenseman? That means he's gonna be playing with Tyler Myers. Now, two beasts like that, that would be awesome. Uh Zadorov is a fan favorite in Calgary. He hits, he is a big guy who's who's got a mean streak. In fact, when you watch, like, watch an interview, he's got scars all over his face. He's been in fights. He's gotten hit by sticks and all that kind of stuff, right? So, but here's the issue that we want to talk about. What do the Flames want? And that is so important. I think the Flames want a fair bit. I think they'll want more for Tanev because he's in the top two pairing defenseman. Zadorov is the bottom three. I think they'll want less. So what would they want? Now, the Flames apparently want sweeteners, and this is why a deal has not been done in Vancouver, because the Canucks are sold that they do not want to add any sweeteners. Now, that is music to Canucks fans' ears, right? No sweeteners in a deal right now. No draft picks, no prospects, you know, that kind of thing, right? So this is my best guess, okay? Is it going to be Beauvillier? Beauvillier is 26 years old, UFA, making $4.1 million, Okay. That would be a good fit in re regards to pricing. Uh, Friedman also just came. I could see us moving him out, even though he's played pretty decent for us. But he's only 27 years old, UFA, uh, 775000 um, So that is that is some options that I'm thinking. I'm thinking we may be able to move some of that money out, uh, but I'm not sure. Now, a lot of people are saying we should just trade Myers for Zadorov. And... We could, but I don't think teams want minors. I don't think teams want the money. We'd have to retain salary in order to do that. And there's a good chance, in my opinion, you've seen my video already, that I think that Tyler Myers wants to stay in Vancouver. He's going to try to re-sign in Vancouver for a very minimal cost. He lives in Kelowna. That's just my uh, my opinion. Now, not everyone is a fan of this Sidorov trade rumor. Look at Farhan Lalji, what he says. He says this. He's a bottom pair left uh, uh, left D making 3.7 on an expiring deal. Other than his size, he's an average player. They shouldn't be giving up prime assets for that. If he was a uh, right-handed defenseman, then maybe uh, they're not doing anything until they move a contract first anyways. And so what do you think about this opportunity that the Canucks have? Do you think you, we should trade for Sidorov? Are, are you just sold on the Tanov stuff or Hannafin? Or or maybe there's another team. There's a lot of teams that we've been talking about in the Garland conversation as well. I would love for you to post in the comments. I'm personally excited about this. I think this is realistic. I know Leaf fans really want him. But uh, I think he's more likely to get traded to, well, he might get traded somewhere else, but I think he signs with Vancouver in the offseason, very high potential, depending on how much money we offer him. But man, this is exciting days. I'm, I'm pumped about this weekend. I'm doing live streams after every game. So please uh, like and subscribe. Make sure I'm follow me on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Twitter uh, at Kempner Sports. And I'd love to connect with you. Hope you have a great day and hope we make a trade soon and hope we get just keep winning. And I'm pumped that we're on pace to make the playoffs. Thanks so much for watching and go.
Good night.